What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to play some Pioneer today. And this is actually a deck that went 3-1 in a Pioneer preliminary on Magic Online. And I was able to port it directly into the Explorer format. So, <clears throat> we have eight elves, Elvish Mystic and Llanowar Elves. We have our companion is Gigantha. <clears throat> Three Obliterating Bolts. And then our goal is to ramp from these guys into these... So we have three Sword of Forge and Frontier, which is a sweet addition from Phyrexia. All will be all all will be one. Uh, three Love, Love Struck Beast, solid five five that also is able to attack based on these little cuties. Uh, four Reckless Storm Seekers, which is just a great way to give haste to your creatures. Uh, four Bone Crusher Giant, also another <clears throat> essentially another two drop removal spell and a very sweet creature, as as you guys know. A crow in war lets you gain control of a guy, and then they have to attack, and then each tapped creature deals damage equal to itself. Uh, I also have four Asika's Chariots, because it is just phenomenal. Uh, it is legendary, though, so. Then we have two Lucka, Bound to Ruin, which is basically Garrick Wildspeaker. Uh, it's what Rob and I compared it to. If you play this for four mana and two life, you basically get a three loyalty Planeswalker, like Garrick. That can add two mana when you plus one it. Same as Garrick. It untaps two lands, gives you two mana. This plus ones gives you two mana. Negative one makes a 3-3 three, three beast. Similar to Garrick. And then negative four deals X damage um, to any number of target creatures and our planeswalkers where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. So the, the finisher is not quite Garrick, but the, the first two abilities and the casting cost and the starting loyalty are almost identical. Uh, then you have three Sky Sovereigns and a bunch of lands pretty much every every land we can add i wish i changed these basic forests to a more preferable land especially because it's no bradley but uh we got four rending volleys deals you know deals for to <clears throat> white or blue creature uh the fourth love struck beast a third of crow in war two scavenging ooze two damping spheres two unlicensed hearsts a Clothis, which I actually like in the main deck a lot. I think this card is super sweet. And a fourth of Crow and War. So that's what we're playing here today. We are actually playing Explorer. But really, it's a Pioneer deck. So sometimes you get those Pioneer decks that are actually just complete. C-O-M-P-L-E-A-T, that is. You know? And then we do the waiting game. All right, we did it. Took about three minutes, but we're in it. We're in it to win it. I will play first. Uh, I will definitely keep this hand. We do not have a one draw. Oh, I guess we do. <laughs> Man, <clears throat> it makes me sad that only two cards in my hand are not showcased or a uh, different border. I guess a Crone War doesn't come in one, but Gigantha does. And that makes me sad. Dauntless Bodyguard. Pretty sure I just killed that guy, right? What could go wrong? They get rid of that guy forever. That's what could go wrong. <clears throat> You got it. Let's get a greenie. Um, it's either Beast or Stormseeker. All red braided cables? Yeah, I've done that. Except I did it with green. Oh no, what? No, not all attack. Okay, so we made made a misplay here. Didn't like that. Because now we can't attack thank with our Love Struck Beast. So that's unfortunate. Austin Floyd, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Oh, man. Thank really appreciate you, dude. That is awesome. Okay. Well. Thank you. Thank you. Guess we're just going with this guy. Thank 
Thank you. Come at me, bro. That's annoying. Okay. So I take four to do this? January is over. Time to move on to February bills. That's true. Oh my god, dude. This is going well. Literally bringing quad rending valley. <clears throat> so that's... That's nice. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. Okie dokie. Obliterating Bolt is just worse than Rending Volley, right? Okay, yeah. Next, also, we don't want to shoot the guy that they can sacrifice to the Bone Crusher Giant. That doesn't sound great. <clears throat> so we made two misplays that game, and I uh, felt bad about both of them. Take out one of you. I don't care about the sword at all, actually. And the reason is that they're just going to chump it or... This is probably correct. It seems fine. Oh, yeah. You know what? I will keep this because of Llanowar Elf. Because <laughs> next turn we can go Rending Volley into Lovestruck Beast Creature. I guess it's called... Uh, Heart's Desire. We can go, we can go rending volley into Heart's Desire. And if we hit a land, we can just. Oh, I guess we don't want to play Love Struck Beast. Like, oh yeah, we do. We don't. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, that was good. Can you refer to Bone Crusher as Big Boner? Yeah, if you want to. Hmm. Mutavolt. <clears throat> Mutavolte. Mutavolte. This feels okay. Oh, okay. Feels really good, I guess. So that was a good game. Not for them, but you know, for us it was good. I'm very curious how many lands we have in here. Snap keep. Hmm. I mean, if we can get Sky, Sky Sovereign Council flagship down, I'm pretty sure we're in great shape. Wow, Luminarch Aspirant every single game on turn two. That is impressive. I don't know if we're going to attack. 
Reason being, if they hold, if they put the counter on this guy. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep. Seems totally reasonable. Fascinating. Get two cats here. That seems good. Man, removal would be nice here. This feels correct, but I, I don't know. Uh, this is not a Rob special, no. Neither are the other ones. I created those. We also could have went make a guy and then also make love struck beast, which would have given us a five five and a, and a one one. Oh boy, <clears throat> that should be the end. Yep, that's really annoying. So I can block one. Yep, that's game. Cool. Oh yeah, I mean, I was giving him, giving him props for telling me how good Invoke Despair is because I wasn't sure, but I mean, that was that's the extent of it, really. That was unfortunate. <clears throat> I guess it, I guess when your opponent draws their Luminarch Aspirant every single game on turn two, and you don't draw any of your uh, rending volleys or obliterating bolts, which you have seven of, it gets a little gets a little trickier to to win. I will keep. Third legendary Asika's Chariot. <sighs> Seems good. Huh. I mean, I guess you're fine. <laughs> Thank you. You let us uh, shoe a garner with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you. Well, the amount of kitties will probably be two because, you know, legendary. Thank you. But... So Thank they're you. Jund, it looks like. <clears throat> next, next. Shoe a garner. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, make your little food. You guys think Oko's legal in Pioneer? Who knows? Anybody's guess, you know? Okay. Oh, boy. That 
That's pretty good. Fascinating. All right, <clears throat> seems decent. Boo, we're, oh good, you have both, because of course you do. I've never actually seen a player not have both. I, I think when you draw one, the other one just appears in your hand. Four deals damage equal or acts as the greatest power among creatures you control. So four. Does not seem great. Sure. Uh, one, two, one. Two. Brutality triumphs. I mean, that keeps them off some of their food production. Or they discard two lands. Seems about right. So they're mix they're they're mixing Theros basics and and Crimson Vow basics. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> Seems good. Sure. 
Going face. Interesting. I mean, is this lethal? I don't actually know how this works. No, I guess not. Yep. <clears throat> creature or planeswalker, huh? So, does the sack a creature create a food? So they sack this guy, create a food, and then they sack a food to bring it back. And they do that multiple times. Yeah, I think this game's over, because... We don't have enough to kill them, and they kill us with Corvold next turn. So that's unfortunate. Let's bring in Scavenging Ooze, Clothus, Big Old Hearses. Looks like Forza and Frontier seems pretty decent against them. Reluctantly keeping it because of Elvish Mystic and lots of three mana and two mana cards. I don't, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, yes. So beautiful. Beautiful. So we gotta kill it, they make a token. Yes, do that. Do it. Tasty and delicious. One cat down. Top notes. Sugar. Vanilla. Seems good. Pirate! 
Celsius swarm will triumph! Behold, a perfect predator! Seems good. Uh, it is not. It is just a bottle of water. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Look at him. Go ahead. Make your food. Sack him. Sack him to make a food. I dare you. I said I dare you. How many lands are in this deck? 21? My guess. 24. 24 with 8 elves. And I'm still kind of getting land screwed? That's strange. Well, I mean, ideally we go turn 1 elf, turn 2 sword, turn 3 equip attack. That's the goal. That's the, the living the dream. Well, we're close here. Actually, turn two Clothis is also very, very good. Into turn three, you know, Asika's Chariot. Beautiful. Gorgeous. See, this is where a third land would help out a bunch. Oh, wow. Kitty Cat City. Farted. <clears throat> hmm. Like, do I have an attack? If I attack, they just sack, make a food. Like, there's no point, right? We just lose a blocker? They didn't do anything. We didn't draw a land, so that's cool. Two lands every single game is is a fun time. Now we're getting in there. 
This guy's got trampled, bro. So now we're going to kill this guy, too, because then they only get one. And now they should only be able to bring one back next turn. So we should be able to eat one, theoretically. Wow. I liked that guy. Four kitty cats. Finally another land. I think we just enter tapped, right? All we're going to do is play a Sika's Chariot this turn, and we can do that with all our elves. I guess we could have played one more elf, but I'm okay with not. Wow, they're not doing very well here, unfortunately. Uh, I actually kind of want the land here. And by land, I mean mana, but I guess I don't get that. It's not it's not creature. It's non-land, right? It's either land or non-land. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is at five, so we can go one. Two. Turn on Clothis. Oh my god, this doesn't turn him on because he doesn't have a mana value? Is that correct? That doesn't seem right. All right, win that game. That's so funny that Reckless Stormseeker doesn't contribute to devotion when it's on the other side. That I did not know. I feel like it's more devoted than ever. You know, maybe that's true. Yeah, because I thought they made it that, like, even when they're on the back side, they still have the mana value of the front side. Yeah, I don't think it's incorrect. I think I just didn't know it. Again, one lands. I don't understand these one land hands with 24 lands in the deck. Here we go. 
Yep. Okay, now we're talking. have that guy in turn two it's i've never seen them not draw that guy uh, one two three four this will give us five Yeah, I guess we have another Love Struck Beast, so might as well take two and play it. Oh god, one turn too late for that guy, huh? Please don't tap all of my my red sources for this. Feeling good. Oh, how nice. Yep, I'll take four. Come on, Obliterating Bolt. Mm, is Lucka good? I believe Lucka's pretty good here. Uh, we get to deal two, though. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Kill them. Thank you, do. That guy's good. They have one card in hand. Muta Vault. You're all going at face. One, two, three, four. Uh, sure. Interesting. Aren't they dead? What a weird attack. Uh, we'll take out a Crow in War. I think this deck is too aggressive for it. I got this guy. Take out all three of these. I mean, one, two, three, four. Actually, Stormseeker might just be great here. Clothis is actually pretty great for the life gain. Yeah, Stormseeker giving haste seems really good, so. 
So now we have seven spot removal spells, and I'm going to be surprised if we don't draw any of them. Okay, we drew... <laughs> you know what? Sure. Well, they went to six. Okay. This is when it attacks with another creature, right? With another creature greater power. Yeah, okay. So, basically they piggyback off a of bigger... Really? That's a fascinating choice. That could be good. So... We guarantee taking two next turn if we don't play a stomping ground now. But we can't rending volley now. So if they play something like a Luminarch Aspirin, I definitely want to kill it. I think killing it here is probably more important. See, now I'm just going to kill the Initiate. And that's their turn, right? Oh, they just had a second one? Why? That's very fascinating. Okay, so is Clothis... If Clothis is going to exile creatures, Clothis is just going to start gaining us life. I think this is correct. Although next turn, this into this is also pretty good. I don't know. I think there's an argument that can be made for both. Wow, that is a lot of hopeful initiates. Does end the turn. Yeah, that's obnoxious. They kill the Asika's chariot in response. If they do, we get to keep a cat. So that's kind of cool. I get to keep both cats if they do that. Well, that's a big boy. Hmm. This feels okay. Oh, it costs three. Oh, now we're definitely attacking then. I literally thought it cost one to activate this guy. So that's my bad. Wow, that would have been much better. Good call, Awesome in a Box. 
Uh, so we activate. Oh, they have something else, though. <laughs> Okie dokie. Do we chump block this 3-4? Hmm, that is a question. No. Yeah, they were just baiting us into, into activating the chariot, so... Oh, I guess we take five here. Okay, they have no cards in hand. That feels good. Three damage, huh? Antsy body, glad to hear it, buddy. One, two, three, one, two. We could put Giganta in our hand, but I don't think that's better than just casting both of these guys. How much is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. And we still get one blocker. Actually, we'll just put you to five. We'll put you to seven instead. Because if they have, like, Brave the Elements and name... I guess we could still block the Mutavault. I think this game's over. That's pretty good. So they get rid of Land War Elf? Sure, that's fine. Five, six, seven. They block here. Yeah, that's fine. So they're just dead, right? Two one, not bad. Let's see what kind of gem we got. Oh, okay. I mean, it's mythic. That's actually much better than the random uncommons and commons they give you. Okay, we got in. Now we're waiting on the opponent. Oh, yeah. the I don't know if you guys saw the wild card incident yesterday. Basically... Uh, when you go to your collection to make a deck, if you select standard in the advanced search options, not the deck, but the advanced search options, it will only show you cards that are in those standard sets. It won't show you all the standard legal cards. So when I searched for Phyrexian Obliterator, which I had four of from the historic bundle, it didn't show them. It it showed me none. So I was like, oh, I need to craft four Phyrexian Obliterators. So I made them. Same thing with Phyrexian Arena. Made those two. Then, once I unselected Standard, all of a sudden I have eight. Now I have four and four. Or four and four and four and four, I guess. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I, it, it made me literally, I crafted eight extra rares and mythics that I didn't need because it didn't show them to me in my collection. 
when I highlighted only standard cards. Because I guess they're, even though they're standard legal, they weren't in a, a, a literally a standard set. Um, so I wrote in to Wizards and I was like, hey, this is not my fault. Uh, you guys sell literally eight wild cards for $30. So basically this is a $30 cost for me. <laughs> and they were like, hey, we're really sorry that you had this challenging issue. Here's 10,000 gold. It was like the fucking flavor text of reparations. Sorry we burned down your village. Here's some gold. <laughs> but it's like it's not even not even gems. Wouldn't even gems. Like if you gave me 10,000 gems, I'd keep my mouth shut. Cool. Because that's like a decent amount. Like you're just giving me gold. So I emailed the Mac and I'm like, this is not really a proportional response. Like, uh, I mean... 10,000 gold is like literally six packs or something. I think it's like 10 packs. It's some, some, some ridiculous amount of packs that's not a lot. The point is wild cards are significantly more valuable than that. Uh, apparently, I mean, because I mean, it's, it's apparently they're worth 30 bucks. Four mythics are $20 and four rares are $10. So that's $30 right there. So, like, come on, man. So, we'll see what they say. But, like, it's it costs them nothing. That's the thing, right? Like, like, even if they can't, like, undo it and take the cards out of my account and give me the wild cards back, just fucking give me the wild cards, man. It costs you nothing. Like, it's goodwill. And I spent, I literally spent $100 on gems yesterday. Just yesterday. I spent $100. And you're going to just take the money that I gave you and be like, here's some gold. Come on, dude. Are these both highlighted? What's going on here? Cancel. Click on this. Click on this guy and this guy. Okay, submit four. Okay, that's four power. Got it. You think they got a Wrath of God coming? Sure. <laughs> Orange highlight is the new black. That's hilarious. That's funny. You're a funny guy. You know that? I really appreciate your, your comedy stylings. So I'm gonna go one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we definitely wanna play this, I think. Resolve. Why did it take so long? Resolve. Oh, because I'm stopping before combat, I guess. Um, one, two, three. Resolve. Give it to this fat guy. Could we have just won there? I didn't even realize they were at six, but... I mean, now they have to block Love Struck Beast. They take four.
Yeah, fix is a big word. Oh man, I don't know if you've seen foils recently. Pringle City. And by recently, I mean in the past 20 years. Okay, I guess we just win. Well, that was satisfying. Uh huh. I don't know. Is Damping Sphere any good? Feels like it shuts down their wolf willows. Do I care about that? I don't know. Rending Volley seems decent. I literally have not drawn or equipped a sword once yet. I think we're just going to start with Rending Volleys and see what happens. It's very slow, but I'll keep it. Why? I don't know. We could always play a Gigantha on... Uh, put the Gigantha in our hand on turn three. Top five favorite one cards right now. Go. Um. Oh, God. I... I the, the, the set's not fresh enough in my mind. I would say Tyranax Rex, if that's his name. I would say... Frexine Obliterator. Atraxa. That's three. Uh, I probably would say Frexine Arena. These are off the top of my head, mind you. Do I just want to kill this guy? Uh, Frexine Vindicator is not in my list. Let me look at my one list real quick. I know there's something else. It's really just not having the cards fresh enough in my mind. Uh, I'm just gonna look. Uh, it might be Black Sun's Twilight, but hold on. I wanna double check. Might be Nissa too, Nissa's really good. Uh, I'm gonna say Glissa Sunslayer. That card gets me excited. Okay, so it's either this guy or kill this guy and play an elf. I think it's elf that's... I think it's elf and murdering. It's definitely not Jace. I think Jace is... I think the new Jace is trash. <laughs> I could be wrong. I, I... I... Don't think he's great. I've seen the new Jason two decks so far. Both of them are modern mill decks. Do I like one draft? Not yet. But I'm willing to give it a chance. Waiting on them. During my opponent's upkeep, I brought back my trespasser while it was in night, and they went to two life and had two creatures in their graveyard. Oh, that's sick. I'm proud of you. So proud. Really? You're gonna put this guy on the top? I don't want him anymore, so I guess that's fine.
Rending Volley. Make a red here. Got another bolt for that guy. Oh yes, Black Sun's Twilight brings the creature back tapped. Probably to prevent shenanigans like that because that would probably seem too strong. Whenever a wolf enters the battlefield. So you can't copy him because he's legendary and you're out of mana, but we're gonna. Oh, that's rude as hell. Wow, what a little shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm one shy, huh? One, two, three. Oh, boy. I wish I had one more mana. But I'm just going to do this for now because I think it's better to get Tulsimir off the board. Fascinating. No blocks. I'm afraid of the four cards they have in their hand. That's pretty good. Oof. Fascinating. Play this. Keep this one. Get Kruin. Bet they got another one. Omnath. Okay. Nope. And we're hoping that I have another Supreme Verdict, I guess. Today, Junior. Okie dokie. Yeah, we're not going to play an elf specifically because I think they have another Supreme Verdict. Fires into Supreme Verdict. That's even better. Fires into Fable. I'm fascinated. Um, That's a lot.
Okay, fascinating. Oh, they just, they just, we just win. Interesting. I was not expecting that. If you kiki a creature, then copy it with the cherry to keep the copy. Probably, yes. The copy just should not have the same, you know, restriction. 3-1. Not bad. Not bad. Not great. Yeah, we gotta ship that. Uh, that is better. Turn two reckless into turn three Lucka if we hit a land. They took that guy, huh? So next turn we can just play this guy, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't realize we won the last match. Interesting. Before Shoulders Edict. What is this? Is this one of the Capana Cats? Warlock class. At the beginning of the Aaron step, if a creature died, each opponent loses a life. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. One day my claws will be your end. Well, this is not great here. And this is just Planeswalker or Creature. something. Man, a Crow War is a beating against a uh, Phyrexian Obliterator. Oh yeah, and then we just get to kill that guy. Bro, you are so dead. You got it. That'll do, pig. Sometimes mono black is not as good as our mono black, you know? Okay, so. A Crone War I was gonna laugh at, but it kinda did. It was kind of the business against the uh, the Obliterator, huh? <sighs> Graveyard stuff doesn't seem great. Not good. This could be good. Deals damage to, to itself equal to its power. So when this when when the third chapter goes off does this do they get their obliterator back and then it deals damage to itself or am I the controller when it deals damage to itself that's what I'm curious about So 
So the trigger happens. War goes to the graveyard. They gain control of their guy. And then it... A blue would be untapped though, right? Because it's happening during my main phase. So does it just not kill the creature you take? I don't know. Yeah, that's that's confusing. Yeah, 15 seconds, huh? Uh, let's bring in an unlicensed hearse or two. So that's interesting. Like, is the point that like you're not supposed to, you're not going to lose the creature? Wow, this hand is terrible. Oh, look at layer of the Hydra. I forgot this is even in the deck. Oh man, this is brutal. Also, no, no ways in our main deck to deal with, or in our sideboard to deal with enchantments is interesting. Is it worth keeping just because we have three good lands? It can't be. This is much better. We'll get rid of a hearse for now. Also, all the 1-1 one, one tokens and stuff we can make is really good against things like that make us sacrifice. That guy is problematic. Lock it deals X damage. Okay, that's not gonna do it. Seek his chariot. Man, where's the Akron War when you need it? Yeah, but then what's our play? Like, if I'm playing this and this, they're just going to attack this. So I'm almost better just casting this and making a beast. Because then I get a free guy out of it. I mean, or we can plus and do something, do nothing with it. But I think we're just making a beast here. That's that's a solid. That's a little jambalaya right there. The bottom ability is deal X damage divided any way you choose among any number of creatures and planeswalkers, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. I mean, it's tempting to go beast, beast... Lucka this guy and then attack. I have two cards in hand. I 
And what do I do? Sacrifice five permanents? How bad is that? I mean, eventually we'll just have too many creatures, right? We're just trying to hit that Akroan War, you know? That seems okay. That ain't it, but I probably want to kill your Phyrexian Arena. So we have, what, one, two, three to get it into our hand. One, two, three. We can actually get Gigantha here. Plus you. Play our Gigantha? Interesting. That was interesting. This should cost one, right? Yeah, I wish they didn't tap that, but all right. Hmm. So if we attack with everything, or at least the five fives, I mean, we're trading with Obliterator. This seems fine. That's it, huh? Go get your little swampums. Okay. So we gotta resolve five. Uh, let's say one, two, Three, four. Actually, I kind of want to keep one of those around. So it's one, two, three, four, and a cat. Oh, God. This is like. This is Meat Hook Massacre for like 20. Uh, okay. Well, they have one card in hand. Interesting. Oh, that's nice, but we only have four mana. Uh, this is Pioneer, so Meat Hook being banned in Standard, while an interesting fact, not super relevant here. And by Pioneer, I mean it's Explorer. They gotta block, or else they die. Explore in here. I guess we could have attacked with Mutavolt too. I don't think that matters, but. No Meat Hook Massacre. Castle Lockthwain. I feel like you would have played that last turn if that wasn't your draw. Okay. 
half the number of cards in their library loses half their life. Jesus. But they only have like three mana left, right? Oh god. <laughs> Is this... What the fuck? So you have one, two, three mana. So you can't Meat Hook Massacre now. And I doubt there's any sweepers that take care of this board position. So I think that's 4-1. Apparently I'm the 4-1 champ. Meat Hook for one, sure. That's it. That's your move. All right, so our Lovestruck Beasts can attack, but they can crew our chariots. And that should be all we need, I imagine. Dude, it's so funny. I've heard the term JD Power and Associates my entire life in so many car commercials. And no one's ever explained to me what that is. Uh, so crew here, we have four, five, six. Yeah, okay, this has just got to be game, right? So you block a 4-4 four, four, and a 3-3. Three, three. You take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Seems good. That's a 4-1, my dudes. My absolute dudes. Oh yeah, give me that Corrupt. Eh, yeah, Corrupt is a card I actually like. Oh, an Ixalan and a Zendikar Rising pack. I don't know why I got those. What? Oh, I guess because it's a Pioneer event. That's cute. Let's see what we got. Why are there two cards in here? I don't understand. What? I don't get it. Oh, one's the Alchemy version? What the fuck? What's the difference? <laughs> Why? I can't even tell the difference. The second one has a templating. Like, the negative two is a little bit different. So is the negative three. What the hell? Who cares? Why? Just... Just play the normal Nahiri. Why do you need two different versions of the same exact card? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. How about now? Ixalan, what do you got for me? A thematic compass. All right. Uh, so this is our deck. It's like a red-green beaterino deck. And we went 4-1. If I had one criticism, I wish we had a way to deal with enchantments uh, and artifacts. We have no way to do that, really. I think, like, you could probably take the fourth Lovestruck Beast out. Damping Sphere didn't seem super relevant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We also have a lot of graveyard hate. We have two oozes, two unlicensed hearths, and a clothis, which is sort of graveyard hate. Um, I can even see adding a second Besaju as well. Oh yeah, that's a yeah. I would just add another Besaju for sure. I don't even think you need a forest to be honest. Uh, I'm sure Rex Sage is legal. There might be better cards than Rex Sage though. You know, I haven't, I haven't analyzed what creatures and what cards destroy enchantments, but. Would you use the red one? I mean, there's already one red one in here, and I think it's just fine to have. I don't know if you want a second one, but yeah, the deck seemed sweet. I I, I was a little afraid after round one and the, playing the white deck and then getting trounced, but then things kind of came together. Uh, Reckless Stormseeker is actually phenomenal. This is an extremely good card, and I'm very tempted to add it to my cube now that I've seen its power, so... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time, guys. Really appreciate you.